All right, so here's the story of the three times I was held up at gunpoint. The first time I was held up at gunpoint was by a neighbor who came over, and at the time I was young, in my 20s, and occasionally did drugs. And the guy came over and offered me and my roommate mushrooms and offered for us to do it. We were like, okay, cool. So we all took the shrooms and then the guy pulls out a gun and says, all right, we're going to sit here for a few hours and drink and enjoy this shroom trip. And me and my roommate were like, whoa, is this guy serious? And he was. He sat there and we hung out and drank until finally he got tired and left. But it was the most awkward thing. And then he told us that he had shot through the wall when the previous neighbor lived there because him and his girlfriend got in a fight. So shortly later, me and my roommate at the time moved. The second time I was held up at gunpoint was when I was working at Planet K and I was working at the East Riverside location. And this guy came in. I was, I want to say... 24 or so and the kid had to be like 20 or 21 he was about my height my width um just some random white guy and he came in with the gun and said give me all the money and then i was kind of like froze and then disco who was my co-worker turns and goes what and then the guy hits him with the pistol whip on the back of the head and disco falls to the ground and I was like, oh, shoot. So I guess this guy is serious. So I opened the register, gave him the money. He said, don't look. I lay down on the ground. Don't look back or I'll shoot you. So obviously, I laid down on the ground, waited about two minutes, got up, called the cops. I learned how to review and record our video footage. Um, I had one of the general managers come and show me. But ironically enough, that was a useful skill because after that, my friend who was a manager at another Planet K, they got robbed, held up in gunpoint. So I got to show her how to record the footage and go help them because I knew how. But it was a little scary, a little intimidating, but it's just the guy with the gun when he left, I was like, okay. It was traumatic and scary, but I was okay after. And then the third time I got held up at gunpoint was after working at Target in Houston, me and my friend Wes were going to um, park the car and go to the gay bars in Houston. In the gay bars, um, they're not in the worst neighborhood, but they're not in the best neighborhood. But sometimes you have to park a little bit away and walk. So me and Wes parked and started walking and then two young African-American kids jumped out of a truck and they both, one of them had a gun and held us up and I think they were 18 or so. There was some guy that was driving that maybe seemed, I don't know how old he was because we really couldn't see him. And then the other kid was like, give us all you got. So I gave him my wallet and my phone and um, Wes gave him the same thing. And then they wanted Wes's belt uh, because it had jewels on it, but they got freaked out in a hurry and left. And I remember they were yelling, give us everything, give us everything. And I had my car keys in the back pocket. And I just go, I gave you everything already. Because I was so upset they held us up at gunpoint. I didn't mean to talk back to the kids with guns. But they were just kids with guns. It was so infuriating. That was the third time I got held up at gunpoint. And we um, got a guy to lend us his phone after it happened. He called the cops. The cops came. And then the cops treated me and Wes like shit. Like we were lying that we got robbed and got our phones and wallets stolen, which really pissed the fire out of me when the cops were supposed to come help and they were just dicks. But sometimes that's how cops are. And then um, it was funny, uh, later there was a cop that came into Target looking for me and Wes because Come to find out, they found our IDs, our credit cards, and our phones with a bunch of stolen shit when they raided a house where, I guess, one of the guy who was driving got caught and all of our stuff was there. But they kept everything for evidence except they gave us our ID back. Um, 
But it was kind of funny. Everyone at work at Target was like, are y'all okay? What happened? Why were the cops coming asking for y'all? And we were like, well, we were robbed. Um, it was funny. And actually the cop, when I went to get my ID back, he was really nice and helpful, the actual investigator. Um, because obviously they didn't think we were lying that we got robbed. Some cops are shady when they... <sighs> there are people who are victims and the cops make the victims feel like shit. Which is kind of messed up. But anyways, those were the three times I was held up at gunpoint. I'm glad I'm still alive and doing whatever God wants me to do. Still be here on this earth. But yeah, maybe not that exciting of stories. But that's what happened. And I hope you have a good day.